And this is actually a lesson for the guys. There were multiple men in various comment sections of my videos when I'm touching on finances and men. They kept saying, I'm a good guy. I'm a good man. I make this amount of money. I look like this, but I'm still not getting the women that I want. So I know that you guys get upset when you hear women say, I'm a good woman. Because the next question that you ask is, well, how do you know that you're a good woman? Who validates that you're a good woman? Mm -hmm. I'm still a good woman. Good to who? You have to be good to the consumer. They got to buy what you selling. Amen. If ain't nobody yeah. buying what you selling, then what? Think about it. When you go to a job interview, right? Uh -huh. You don't come in there saying, I do marketing great. They're like, but well, ma'am, this is an, an accounting position. Let me show you this video from a familiar face. And uh, we'll talk about it in a second. Here we go. Fairness means you get an opportunity. Fairness doesn't mean you get an outcome. Oh my God. <laughs> you get an interview, not guaranteed a job. No, you're not. But I work very, very hard to ensure that I keep it. Well, if that's the case, you should. If, that, if, if that's the case, thing, right? If that's the case, then if that's the case, you should be able to secure the things you want. So you should have no problem. Oh no, you just said. You work very hard, so you should get the outcomes. See, if hard work was all that we required, then we would almost be guaranteed. Hard work gets you a ticket to the dance. It doesn't get, guarantee you the top spot. How many, uh, who, who lost the Super Bowl, guys? The uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Can you say they worked hard this year? Very hard. Number two. Men don't worry about fairness. We worry about winning. And to the victor go the spoils. That's one of the greatest comments that the late great Kevin Samuels had or the greatest takes in regards to saying that, hey, I'm doing this, I should be winning. And the reason why I wanted to share this is because I understand, guys, that you may be doing big things. You may be making a certain amount of money. You may be ripped in the gym. You may be over six feet. But that doesn't guarantee you that you're going to get a good woman. So when you hear people say, I'm a good man. I'm a good woman. That may be true, but that doesn't guarantee you anything. And like Kevin Samuel said, it guarantees you a job interview, so to speak. You get a chance, but that doesn't guarantee anything. So when you have these disclaimers by saying, hey, I'm a good man, I should be getting this, or why am I not getting this out of the women? Because everybody won't win. And it seems like men understand when women say that, when women say, I'm a good woman, we question it. We say, how? How do you know that? Because if you don't have a man to validate that, what does that tell you? You may be good at something, but if you're basing yourself on being a good man or a good woman in a relationship, then people are going to ask, where's your relationship? So yes, saying you're a good man is cool and all, but if you're using it in the context of why you're not in a relationship, you need somebody to validate that. Not talking about anything else. You can be a stand-up guy, never been to jail, which is normal. You can volunteer. You're a good person. But when you're talking about relationships, you need somebody to validate that. I just wanted to put that message out there.